identify these two given bone and articulate both of them. So when you will have the identification, you can see that this is the first cervical vertebrae and this is the second cervical vertebrae which is having the characteristic feature of the odontoid process. Now when you are articulating this, you have to first locate the superior inferior surface of the, the C1. For that, you have to check both the surfaces of the articular process. Now this is a circular process, so it is an inferior surface and when you will see this superior articular process, it is elongated, so it is a superior process. Now you have to do the superior surface keep superiorly and you just hold it in such a way that it will go and fit on the superior articular process of the second cervical vertebrae. Now in this way you can see that this area of uh, uh, this end, uh, C1 is now occupied by the odontoid process. So this is the joint formed by the C1 and C2. Thank you.